Hey there superstars, it is Vanessa here again, your speaker, trainer and coach from Live Love Give and today I'm coming to you from beautiful Melbourne. Um, I'm right here in the city right now. I'll give you guys a quick flip around of Flinders Street Station, iconic in beautiful Melbourne, my hometown and, um, and then I've got, oh it looks really ugly right now but Federation Square is going on there and I am you might be able to hear the bells because I am at the cathedral, St. Paul's Cathedral here in Melbourne. And I really, really want to deliver today's message to you guys. I'm why I'm out. I've just had a beautiful dinner with my gorgeous little mumbo and I am about to take her for her Christmas present to um, we're going over to actually just across the road here. her um, like I said for a Christmas present we're going to see Calamity Jane which is if you don't know what Calamity Jane is it was a movie um, back from the I think the 1950s or I think might be 1960 I'm not too sure but um, it's a Doris Day movie an old-time classic and um, and as a kid um, it was one of my favorite movies that I used to watch with my mum and um, they're putting it on as a performance here and we're going to be sitting on stage for this um, particular performance. So I don't know what's going to happen. I'm kind of up for being on stage as you know, but um, my mum is probably one of the most shy people you will ever meet and um, so she's kind of a bit terrified. So I will report back and let you guys know how that all goes. But anyway, today's message that I really wanted to just make this message about for you guys is the fact that sustained attraction stems from your belief in a better future. So I think this is super important for all of us to get our minds around because at the end of the day, our intimate relationships, you know, if we don't have that attraction, if we don't have that desire for intimacy and that depth of connection, then really what we have is not an intimate relation relationship sorry I've just had a sangria I might stumble my words a little bit um, but really what it is is it's just going to end up as roommates it's just going to be um, you know more of a friendship than it is going to be an intimate relationship and at the end of the day I really do believe that we're all here to love fully and be loved fully and so we need to absolutely know how to sustain attraction in our intimate connections and that's why today's message is I'm hoping going to resonate with you guys to think about the times when you've had the highest level of attraction in your long-term relationship I'm talking about and um, and how to get it back it's a really good way to think about it as well so when we lose belief in a better future with somebody else we lose our attraction and ultimately most of the time our respect with for that person as well and if we are missing that attraction you know maybe it's dwindling in that long-term connection um, you know instead what we can do is think about what is my perception around the future of this relationship do I believe that my life is better with this person in it? You know, do I, can I project out into the future and see like this amazing future that I couldn't really create without this co-creation going on with this other human being? Um, um, or do you not see that at all? And do you all, you know, have that mindset of um, my future doesn't look as good. My future would probably be better without this person in it. That's when we lose that attraction, we lose that respect and we lose that depth of connection um, and you know that gratitude for having that other person in our lives. But when we lose that vision and that belief in a better future, we end up taking that person for granted. We, we end up seeing more drawbacks and benefits. And of course we disconnect um, our attraction and our connection. So just something to think about um, as you go on with your day today. Um, and I hope that, um, you know, it will ring true for you. And maybe if you are in long-term relationship and you do find yourself losing attraction, look at this one point. You know, there's definitely different elements to towards why we lose attraction. And I love, love, love diving deep into that and talking about that. But this is one really important one that I have found so true for myself and the clients that I've worked with that we absolutely need to have a vision that is inspiring and connected to that other human being. All right, and when we don't have it, we absolutely lose attraction and um, and we definitely take start taking that person for granted. So 
I'm going to tie that up now because I've got to go run over to um, the Melbourne Arts Centre and I can't wait to go and see Calamity Jane, one of my favourites. If you guys haven't seen the movie, I don't know. I mean, I've probably watched it about a hundred times or more um, over the course of my life. And, um, you know, I've got so many different connection points to it. It's such a classic and um, an old time movie. I hope you've seen it. If you haven't, definitely go and rent it. Um, if you can, I don't know. Uh, you'll be able to find it somewhere online. But Calamity Jane, Doris Day movie, so, so beautiful, so, so fun. And I can't wait to report back on how I go being, um, our table is on stage. So I don't know, they couldn't, when I bought the tickets, they couldn't tell me what the hell is gonna happen or whatever, but I'll report back. I'll let you guys know. And I definitely wanna check in with you guys. So make sure that you are dropping me a hi. Let me know where in the world you are tuning in from. As I said, I'm here at beautiful, Flinders Street Station, I've got the St Paul's Cathedral I'm standing at so you can't really see it and I've got Flinders um, Federation Square here in the centre of Melbourne um, so it's super beautiful and I want to check in with you guys so um, oh, before I do um, a reminder that this coming Sunday Australian time 4pm um, oh sorry Saturday not Sunday it's usually on a Sunday oh my god that sangria is killing me um, so on Saturday the 26th of January or if you're in the States it will be on your Friday evening I'm going to be presenting one of the best masterclasses ever I've been hanging out to deliver this one to you guys it's going to be on unpacking the neuroscience of your personality so that you can understand yourself you can understand others at your highest capacity and also identify your unique genius it's all based on the brain wiring that we that makes up our personality so i can't wait to deliver that to you guys i've been tirelessly working on it for you guys and if you want to be live with me get to connect with our amazing team and uh, join me on video for our live training this saturday um, definitely check out the link above and i can't wait to see all of you superstars who are a part of the limitless potential academy masterclasses this coming saturday aussie time or friday night for you guys in the states all right, let me check in. I've got Randy and Liam and Rob and Con and Tony and Laval. Hello to you, Laval, fellow Melbourneian and Richmond supporter. I love it. And Rob, lovely. Enjoy the time with mum. Um, you are a classic. All the best. I love it. Thank you so much, Rob. I absolutely will. And Shane's here as well. Hello. Hello to you, my friend. And uh, Kobe, sorry, I've just had a sangria. Sorry, I did. And I'm a very lightweight when it comes to drinks. So is my mum. So we both had a sangria. I conned her into it. It was quite fun. And uh, and I love it. And Giuseppe is here and Adrian and Sarah. Good to see you. And uh, Kowal and uh, Sarah, have a wonderful time. Thank you so much. Beautiful. I really appreciate that. I absolutely will. And Vanessa's here as well. And Tony, um, thanks Vanessa for giving me good advice with your speech. You are so welcome, Tony. Thanks so much for spending your time with me. I'm going to turn the camera around so you guys can see a bit of Melbourne tram action. That's how we roll here. And, uh, and Sarah, it looks beautiful there. I'm from Lincoln, Lincolnshire. England. It's cold morning here. Oh, it's beautiful and warm here. And uh, I love that you're tuning in, Sarah. And Andrew's here as well for the Federation Square. Okay, guys, that is it from me today. I'm going to go trek off and uh, go to this performance. I so appreciate each and every one of you guys for showing up and tuning in. And as always, guys, I'm sending you all of my love, light, blessings, gratitude, energy, enthusiasm, everything extraordinary coming to you to wherever you are in the world today. I really do hope that it's beautiful, amazing, and extraordinary. You're doing something super empowering and today's message has definitely served you. And I absolutely can't wait to see you guys tomorrow. And Vanessa, I just jumped on, so I'll watch your playback. Absolutely, hope it's a value to you, beautiful. And uh, much love to you, Sarah, and I cannot wait to see you guys tomorrow.